Open circuit test and short circuit test on 5 kVA. This is the rating, full load rating or rated of kVA. Okay. And this is E1 and this is E2. Whenever you're dealing with OCSC test, take it like this low voltage side and this is high voltage side. Okay. Because in case of OC test, you are giving supply on low voltage side. In case of SC test, you are giving supply on high voltage side. So there is no E1, E2. Okay. Here E1 is different. Here E1 is different. That's why I'm taking EL and EH, low voltage and high voltage in UCMF. This is a frequency what is given. Okay. And here this is a V0. V0. Okay. 20 volts the low voltage side so we have applied 220 volts and this is i naught this is i naught and this is p naught no load power this is vsc short circuit voltage oh my god too many data too much of data this is short circuit current this is psc wow <laughs> okay now it is asked to find out the efficiency and approximate regulation at full load and 0.9 power factor lagging. Okay, it is asked for both efficiency as well as approximate voltage regulation. That is what is asked for a given power factor and load. I told you, I told you whenever you see this OC test, SC test question, bring this table write this table and fill this table that's it you will get everything on its own you will get things automatically lined up if you fill this table okay now full load output what is the full load output this is a full load output 5000 fill this table core losses core losses is equal to p naught is a core loss dude p naught how much is that 100 because you are applying 220 volts is a rated voltage, low voltage side. You are applying that voltage only, 220 only. So core losses are 100 watts. Full load current. What is the full load current? HV side current. This is HV side. Just think about it. Hey, total power is 5000 and HV side is 400 volts. So 5000 by 400. So four, this is 12.5 ampere. This is the current. This is the current. Simply what I done. This power output by this. Okay. One right. Okay, let me write. 5000 by 400 is HV side full load current. How much is that? It is 12.5. But here it is only drawing 11.4 ampere. Okay. So this PSC is not a full load copper losses. Okay. Because current is at the time not full load current. Right. Anyways. So, so next. Yeah. Full load copper losses referred to HV side. How much is that? You need to find out that. Okay. Full load copper losses with reference to primary side to find out this. You can do a couple of ways. One is I square R. 12.5 square into resistance value we can find from this and keep it here you'll get full load copper losses this is one of the way okay this h refers to what effective resistance referred to high voltage side okay of course i told you during the discussion of you know oc test sc test you might have a practice of r01 r02 all these things that is confusing this is much better. This will actually make things a lot more easy for you if you know the concept. That's why I'm taking this. Okay. Anyways, let's proceed. Fill the table first. Things we'll do it later. There is something blank. We'll have to fill this blank with R value. PSC. What is PSC? 200. 200 by ISC square. 11.4 square. Okay. See, uh, you have to use whatever is there here. 200, I'm just, I'm just calculating 200 by 11.4 square. 
your calculator is doing everything buddy 1.54 ohm so so keep it here 1.54 ohm okay and what's the value so let me just do that 12.5 square into answer that is r2 240 watts so here this answer is what's the value of this 240 watts 240 point four six watt to be more precise take up to two decimals dude okay next comes to this z e h v s c which is which is 40 by i s c 11.4 do that 40 by 11.4 we are in advanced era where we can do calculations much easier fashion provided you know that you should know the calculator how to use calculator this is what zeh then xeh just go for square root of answer square minus 1.54 square that's it so xe is how much 3.152 ohms wow so we filled up this table. Now what? We are asked to find out efficiency and voltage regulation. So voltage regulation formula you have already. I2 value is known to you, which is 12.5. Okay. RE2 value, 2 means refer to high voltage side. Okay. Because everything else is in terms of high voltage side. So this is high voltage side, high voltage current, high voltage current, high voltage value of voltage and load side power factor, okay, which is cos phi is how much? This is cos phi, cos phi 2. From this cos phi 2, find out sin phi 2. How to find sin phi 2? Sin phi 2 is sin of cos inverse of. See, come on, yeah, simple mathematics here. I'm not teaching you know, uh, machines, it's simple mathematics. Sine cos phi 2 is known to you. So sine phi 2 is, sine phi 2 is 0.435 or 436, maybe to be more precise, and cos phi 2 is 0.9. Now everything is known to you. Just you need to plug the numbers, get the value. Let's do that. Calculator, calculator, I2 value is this value, how much? 12.5, 12.5 into RE2 is 1.54 divided by EH value, high voltage, voltage is 400 into cos pi 2 plus, I should use or minus, I should use here plus or minus, plus for lagging, minus for leading, so plus I'll be using. Again, I2, 12.5 into X is 3.52, sorry, 152, 152 by E2 value is 400. Of course, you can't correct me if I'm doing anything wrong. 436, I hope I'm not doing anything wrong. And just enter the equation and press equals. This is the answer. In 200, if you want percentage, so percentage voltage regulation is how much? Percentage voltage regulation is 8.63%. Bang. Okay. So, so, you understood? Voltage regulation, see, it's just filling this table. It is not lengthy, it is looking clumsy, but it is not lengthy. Okay. Anyways, next, efficiency formula. Bring the, oh, come on, that's an easy one. Efficiency is equal to output. What is output? 5000 full load output, right? Into power factor, which is 0 0.9 by 5000 into 0 0.9 plus full load copper loss, 240.46 plus full load core losses, 100 into 100 anyways into 100 we can do it by yourself 
let's just do this math 5000 into 0.9 by 5000 into 0.9 plus 240 or oh, let's make it 340 because 100 plus 240 is known to you 340.46 92 92.96 percent is efficiency and voltage regulation is yes that's it that's it what we had done here what we had done is the moment you looked at it you just extracted this information once you get this information you are plugging the details in the formulas and you're using calculator calculator is doing everything once you write this table so this table is very important whenever you see ocsc test question got it great